DPS tends to be a very well-tolerated, safe surgery in general, but as with all surgeries, there are some risks attached to it. And I think we can broadly think of the risks in three categories. The first of these categories relates to the insertional effects of putting electrodes into the brain. And this category might include hemorrhages or seizures. Fortunately, they tend to be infrequent or uncommon. Hemorrhages tend to occur maybe in around 2% of patients, and they cause problems only in around 1% of all cases. The second category of complications relates to the equipment. There might be infections arising from the equipment, there might be failure of the circuitry involved, and there might be migration of the electrodes. Infections are most often superficial and treated completely with antibiotics alone. Less commonly, they might be deeper infections or may involve the electrodes or the system itself, in which case it might necessitate the system being taken out and then treating the patients with antibiotics. This category of complications can be mitigated through careful surgical technique, through attention to detail. And then finally, the third category of complications might relate to the stimulation effects. Things like eye deviations, speech disturbances, mood changes. We're able to minimize this category of complications by testing the function of the electrodes within the operating room during the surgery itself. The risks of surgery can all be minimized by having the surgery done at a very high volume academic center like UT Southwestern, where the treatment team tends to be skilled, practiced, experienced. Everybody here tends to go through a lot and see a lot of patients, which can help minimize errors and optimize outcomes.